One of my key research interests is international tax planning. What is international tax planning? Well, first of all, different countries charge different tax rates for the same economic activity. And so international tax planning is the process where companies just consider the tax rates that they would pay in different countries. In a lot of ways it's like whether you consider your RRSP as part of your investment strategy. Of course, RRSPs have tax favored uh, features to them, and so international tax planning would be the same in the sense that it would consider the after-tax rates of return and risks, not just the pre-tax rates of return when considering an investment strategy. This, of course, is not what gets companies into trouble. Companies like Starbucks and Google and Apple, and most recently Cameco, find themselves in the paper because they engage in a more aggressive form of tax planning. This form of tax planning is where companies use legal structures but tend to be a little bit more aggressive in the interpretation of those and, you, and therefore are able to move more profits from a high tax rate country to a low tax rate country. A recent study that I've been engaged in is to not just look at how the companies deal with this type of environment, but also to look at countries. We conducted an extensive survey of tax planning professionals asking them how different countries rated in terms of how aggressive they are in enforcing their laws, how aggressive their laws are, and uh, generally speaking, how difficult it is to engage in international tax planning within that country. Using these data, we then looked at the effect of differing levels of enforcement, which we refer to as transfer pricing risk from the company's perspective, uh, on the price that is paid in international mergers and acquisitions. We find, not consistent with what we would have expected, that more aggressive company countries reduce the, ta the amount that a company is willing to pay for the targets in that country. In effect, basically, the government creates a cost to doing business in that country. This is particularly the case where the plant tax planning might be most advantageous to the company. For example, in intellectual property industries or where the synergies between the parent and the future subsidiary are, are more apparent. So what does that mean for us here? Well, Canada was ranked fifth in our survey in terms of how, how significant Canadian tax rules and regulation enforcement is in the world. That means we're near the top of the list. Being a fairly strong a regulatory environment means that Canadian companies are valued less by foreign parents. That could be a good thing because we don't necessarily want our Canadian companies to be acquired by a lot of foreign parents. On the other hand, it also suggests that Canada may not be as attractive a business environment for investment than, say, some of the other countries. So there's a real cost here uh, in terms of, on the one hand, collecting more revenue by, by basically preventing Canadian profits from being shifted to other countries. On the other hand, it creates an environment where Canada might be less attractive as a destination for foreign investment. Ultimately, that could affect the job opportunities that we have as Canadians.